Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy. I blog over at DIY Beautify where I love sharing fun and inexpensive projects for your home. And today I'm going to show you how to make little air dry clay mushrooms. This one is just clay. It's fully dried. And I'm also going to show you how to paint them. Do you see those glossy tops and those little polka dots? Aren't they adorable? And see how they're standing perfectly upright? That's what we're gonna do today. So hang tight and I'm gonna flip my phone and show you what you need and we'll get started. Okay, so let's just go over the supplies you're gonna need to make air dry clay mushrooms. You're obviously gonna need some air dry clay. This is the product I've been using for the last few years. I really like it. It's inexpensive. You can buy it on Amazon with one day shipping and it works great and this package will make a ton of stuff like I've had mine for over a year and I've made ornaments and um, tags and all kinds of things you do need to store this once you've opened it you do need to store it in a ziploc bag and suck all the air out or it will dry out I like to keep some damp paper towel handy because your hands will get really um, they'll get coated with the clay as you're working on it. So that's really all you need. You just need clay. But here are a few additional tips. In order for my clay mushrooms to stand up so nicely in my little ironstone bowl, I have also, let me pull one out. While the mushrooms are wet, I insert a toothpick. Now I do make sure that my mushroom can stand on its own because I don't necessarily want to have the toothpick in there all the time and you can see that it does. So that's just a tip. And the styrofoam little rounds from Dollar Tree are great to help it you know, dry and all that while we're painting it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now this is a brand new package that I just got today. And you'll notice that this clay is gray when you when it's in its raw wet shape and that is exactly what you want let me just get this sealed up really fast and then I will show you the difference by the way if your clay dries out um, I actually had a little ball of clay about twice the size of this that I made all my mushrooms with, but it was really dry. Just poke a few holes in it with like a fork or a knife, stick it in a sandwich zippy, and add a couple tablespoons of water. Suck all the air out, zip it up, leave it overnight, and the next day it should be fine. So this is the color of the clay right out of the package. And this is the color once it dries. I have not painted this. I've done nothing to it. So don't be alarmed when you get your clay and it's gray. It will totally dry clear. I'm sorry, white. And if it's a little dry, you can just add a little spray of water. This is actually a little dry. I'm going to get my spray bottle. You don't want a lot. I'm just going to actually spray my work surface. And then... Go ahead and oh I think that was vinegar <laughs> oops well that should be fine and I like to make my mushrooms all of one piece if you're struggling with that you can certainly make a, a stalk and a top but I like to just grab a piece of clay and I'm going to put this under the damp paper towel and then you want to go ahead and sort of roll it between your hands so that you're working on the stock first and then tap the bottom remember we want to have a really flat bottom so that our mushrooms will be able to stand up on their own and then you can kind of get creative with your top I made a couple mushrooms as you can see that have that wide I don't know sort of organic look to them and then a few that had more of like a button mushroom 
top. It's just really all in how you work the clay. So go ahead and roll it a little bit and then you can kind of press it with one hand and start pushing down and shaping <clears throat> your little top. This is really fast and easy and you know you need to remember that mushrooms do not look um, perfect. They're in nature and all of them are different. If you want it to have more of a cap, you can just kind of squeeze the edge, and work your way around the mushroom. This clay is fairly dry. Just always go back and tap it and make sure that your mushroom can stand up on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and start over again and squish this little ball up because my clay is very dry. You don't want to have, well, I don't want to have cracks in my mushrooms. So just work a little bit of water into it. It's not going to really moisten it perfectly, but it'll hopefully be a little easier to work with. And if like today it's cold and dry outside and in my house, so maybe that's why it's drying out so quickly. So just if you need to stop, press your clay and then start reworking it, go ahead and do that. So you can see that just by pressing my fingers around, I'm creating that little sort of dome shape that these mushrooms have. And then to emphasize the cap, just roll your fingers right under the edge of the cap to kind of thin it out a little bit. Always go back and make sure that it can stand on its own because once it's dry, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Okay, I think this guy's good. So I'm going to Gently stick a toothpick. You don't have to go very far, just turn it and then stick it in this little piece of styrofoam so that it can dry. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and paint some mushrooms now and I'm gonna show you how I get this nice glossy look. I thought while I'm taking the time to make this video, I should show you another way to make the mushrooms. So if you're struggling with the way that I showed you, let's do two balls, okay? We'll do a stem and a top. So really, you're just taking a little piece, kind of making a ball with it, and then we're gonna slowly roll it into a little stalk, mushroom stalk. Go ahead and pat it to make sure that it's going to stay and stand up on its own. I guess it's a little bit like a cone shape, slightly narrower at the top. And then the next piece, again, just work it in your hands. The best way to make a cap is to Roll it in a ball and then start making that little hole in the center with your fingers. And my clay, I'm disappointed in this clay. I'm not sure why it is so dry right out of the package, but I'm just going to go with it. Now I have, my nails are not long, but they're a little bit long so I'm going to just I want to make that you know like a Mario mushroom shape I'm just using my knuckle to work the top of it until you've got a little hole and then you can set it on top that one turned out really cute I like that one I might make a few more like that. Now, once this one dries, I don't know because I haven't made them before if it's gonna be stuck together or if it might need a little glue. 
actually feels like it might be stuck. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I might make a few more of those. Uh, one thing I did wanna mention, it takes the clay about 24 hours to dry before you can paint it. So that is just something to keep in mind. Um, I do sort of turn them over after a few hours to give the bottom, you'll, you'll see the gray will fade to white. And so just make sure they're fully dry before you decide to paint them. Okay, let's talk about painting the mushroom tops. Aren't these just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Their little polka dots are so adorable. And if you notice, the stock of the clay, of these particular clay mushrooms, is still the just the dried clay. I haven't touched these with paint. All I've painted is the caps. And I just think it looks so whimsical and cute. Um, <clears throat> you can see they're super glossy, even though I've painted them with chalk paint, which is a very matte paint. And there's a trick. The trick is that you can use any paint you want. You can use, I'm gonna just use this red acrylic paint today. You can use chalk paint if you have it, just use what you have at home. The trick is <clears throat> this triple thick gloss. It is this thick, gooey layer. Oh, and it's stuck. No, nope, it's not. We're gonna paint that on top once the mushrooms dry, once the, the paint dries. Now, if you don't wanna buy that, you may already have this product in stock. It's kind of the same thing. It's even called Triple Thick Glaze. But this is a spray, obviously, and this stuff is amazing. I made glossy um, chinoiserie pumpkins this fall, and I used this spray to, to turn just plain clay gingerbread houses into really ceramic glass looking pieces. So you've got your options. You can do the spray or the paint. I'm gonna probably do the paint today because I'm working inside. Um, just see what, what is available at Amazon. I'll go ahead and link all the supplies in the description. So I'm going to paint some of these little white guys with red caps and I'm going to give them white polka dots, which I can't believe I put my white paint away. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. So to paint the tops, first of all, you'll just need a craft brush with, I like to use one that has just a flat, soft head. Pick up some paint on it. And the paint is gonna show all of your imperfections in your mushroom. That's okay. I'm taking it just to the edge of the cap. It's really hard to get a perfectly straight line, but once you add that glossy layer, no one is even gonna notice. And I like to be generous with my paint because I'm only going to do the one coat. I think it looks good. All right. And then the way that I like to get these to dry really fast so they're, um, so that I can move on and do the, the polka dots quicker is I've got a tool called a heating tool, heat gun. You can use a blow dryer. As you can see, having the toothpicks in the mushrooms just makes it so much easier to work with them. So let's add some polka dots. I'm just using acrylic paint I got at Dollar Tree. Any white paint will work. 
and I'm just going to space these guys out a little bit to make sure they're not touching. So again, just pick it up by the toothpick. You can see it's a little bit dull now that, like the red paint, now that it's dried, it's just kind of yucky. But we're going to change all that. So the way that I do the, to the uh, polka dots, I dip the tip of my paintbrush into the tip of the handle into the paint. And then I'm just going to very gently touch it to the mushroom and it makes a polka dot. So I'm going to go ahead and add these around where I think it needs them. You're just tapping it. I'm sorry, I know you're not really seeing every dot that I'm making, but if you have a little white spot that you missed, this is a great way to disguise that. You can do as few or as many as you want. So cute, right? And once these dry, we are going to paint on the glossy topping. So I'm going to set that aside to dry and carry on. So make sure that your polka dots have fully dried before you go to the next step of adding the glossy coating. I did use my heat tool as you saw to speed up that process a little bit. You will notice that the paint, the dots that you painted go from shiny to dull. That means that they're dry. So this is the fun step and I will tell you that when you start painting on this triple thick glossy coat. It is like, it's really thick and it's going to look more um, foggy than clear. You have to allow it about 24 hours to fully dry. So just be aware of that. It's got a little bit of a varnish smell but I'm just painting right over the top of my mushroom, smoothing it out. And see that gloss? Once it dries, it's gonna look even better. So whether you enjoy decorating fairy gardens with your kids or you're just into cute little details like I am to decorate your home, I hope that you'll try these mushrooms. Air dry clay mushrooms are inexpensive, they don't take long, and they're really sweet.